Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now here's your host, the star of the Joker's Wild, Brandon Scrub. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Joker's Wild here at MPG Productions. Glad to have you aboard with me on this one here. Well, our current champion, Ian, who has won two games and $13,500, can't be with us uh, on this episode here. So we're going to be crowning an interim champion to fill in until he's able to return with us. So we got two players here ready to t go after that interim championship, so let's meet them now. Start off the challenger position for the first game. We have Eric Lima. And playing in the champion's position. Hey, what's the game? Rodney Flipper. How you doing? Yeah, welcome back to uh, Eric, we'll start with. Thank we'll you. Talk thank to you first here. Eric's our current leader on the leaderboard here at Joker's Wild. Our top winner. He's won 11 games, over $300,000 in cash and prizes. He's ready to try to see if he can prove it with doing having another run here. Are you ready, sir? I am very ready, sir. All right. Well, best of luck to you. And currently sitting third on our leaderboard right now with three wins and almost. Uh, I believe your total's around 40000 plus. It's uh, Mr. Rodney Flippin. How you doing? Right, good. How about yourself? I'm okay. All right. You ready to see if you can improve your last run? Try to win some games here? I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. Eric is really good. Is. All right. Well, best of luck to both of you. You guys know how this works. You're going to be answering trivia questions off the reels here. Every single window category is going to give you five or five hundred dollars. Doubles or a pair is worth a thousand. Triples worth two thousand dollars. Get to spend a natural triple. You get a bonus prize with that, no matter what happens. Of course, there's some jokers up there. Jokers are wild. You can use those for anything you want. Three jokers give you a chance to automatically win the game on any spin. Uh, and first person to get to five thousand dollars in proper turn wins the game. Goes on to our face the double round where they can earn cash prizes and possibly a brand new car. All right. With that said, let's take a look at your categories you'll be using in this first game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have pop culture. Would you rather? We are booked. Funny games. Past, present, future. Filing. Anything goes. All right, in the would you rather category, I will give we surveyed a hundred people and we asked we gave them a scenario of two things. We're gonna ask we all you gotta do is tell us which one you think more people would rather do. If you're right, you get you get the money related for that question. If you're wrong, however, your opponent gets it. Kind of plays like the true or false category, if you will. <laughs> all right. Ah, sorry. So, all right. With that said, okay. let's let's unlock the reels for. You. Our players, we have Eric and we have Ronnie set ready to go. All right, as always, the challenger spins the first. In this case, that's Eric. So, Eric, when you're ready, give it a spin. Oh, let's get some jokers. Here are books, pop culture, and past, present, and future. Ooh. Uh, let's try pop culture for $500, please. All right, pop culture question. Here it comes for $500. All right, here you go. Pop culture, here's your question, Eric. The musician Childish Gambino appears in what NBC show? The musician Childish Gambino appears on what NBC show? $500, name it. Saturday Night Live? No, I'm sorry. It's not Saturday Night Live. I know you can take 500 if you know it. I'm going to take an uh, educated guess. Is it My Name is Earl? No, I'm sorry. It's not My Name is Earl either. Correct answer there is community. It was community. It was the name of the show there. All right, so oh, no money community. awarded. Rodney, you'll be your spin. I Joker. Joker. It goes. And a Joker. All right, $2,000 all the way. All right, going for anything goes for $2,000. Here comes your Here comes your question under the anything goes category. 
Helps when you plot the right card for it. <laughs> All right, Rodney. What U.S. fashion... Oh, sorry. Let me repeat that. What fashion item was inspired by a U.S. atomic bomb test off an atoll in the Marshall Islands? Can I repeat? What fashion item was inspired by a U.S. atomic bomb test off a toll in the Marshall Islands? For two thousand dollars, name the fashion item. Oh boy! Marshall Islands is near Hawaii, so I would guess a hula dress. No, I'm sorry, it's not a hula dress. Eric, you can pick up two thousand dollars here if you know it. I think it's called the bikini. Bikini is correct. Two thousand dollars. Good job, Eric. Thank you very much, Ronnie. Well played. Yeah, a toll was the key. You heard about that? I've heard about it before. So that's right. T scores two thousand. Uh -huh. Nothing. Eric, you're spinning. All right, Joker. 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 Would you rather? Oh. Uh, let's try. Would you rather for two thousand? I'm going to take a gamble with the Would You Rather category. For $2,000, get this right. You put up to $4,000. However, you missed it. Rodney ties up the game. All right? right? We surveyed 100 people, and we asked them, Would you rather live in a bigger room for more rent or live in a smaller room for less rent? What do you think more people chose? Smaller room for less rent. Smaller room for less rent? A whopping 63% of the people said they'd rather live in a smaller room for less rent. You're right. The economy nowadays can really kill you, so that's probably the reason why. Oh, well, good guess there. You're up to $4,000. Ronnie, it's your spin. You're going to get going. Come on. Joker. Funny games and pop culture. Funny games for 1000 all right, going with the fun and game category for $1,000. Here comes your fun and games question. All right, Rodney, in what board game is the goal to return to the hexagonal hub in the center of the board and answer one final question chosen by your uh, other players in order to win? For $1,000... Name it. Trivial Pursuit. That is correct for $30,000. <laughs> Here we go. Scores 4000 to 1000 Eric, your spin. Ask for the future. Would you rather in Fun and Games? Fun and Games for 500 please. Fun and Games for 500 Here comes your Fun and Games question. All right, Eric, in the classic video game Pong, what shape was the ball? A square. Square is correct. $500. <clears throat> 4500 to 1000 Rodney, your spin. Good job, please. Okay. Funny games, and we're booked. Funny games for 1000 Funny games for 1000 Here comes your funny games question. What company created the PlayStation gaming console? Sony. Sony is correct. You got a thousand dollars. All right. There we go. From <laughs> two thousand to forty-five hundred. Eric is your spin. No, no, no. Joker. You rather and a Joker. Um, forty-five hundred dollars. Go a little, play a little strategy here. Let's go off the board with one Joker, and let's go to fun and games. Fun and fun and games for five hundred. Okay, you can do that. Fun games, five hundred dollars. Get this correction correct. It'll give you five thousand dollars enough to win the game. However, Ronnie will get one more spin. Miss it, and Ronnie gets a chance to steal and get back in this. Here comes your question under fun and games. All right, are in each player's army in the board game Stratego? Again, how many pieces are in each player's army in the board game of Stratego? 
Is it A, 30, B, 35, C, 40, or D, 50? Yep, 30. 30 is incorrect. Ronnie, you could pick up $500 if you know it. The last choice are 35, 40, or 50, right? Yes. 40, I'm going to guess. That's a good guess because you're right. $500 for you. Wow. There we go. Native plays. <laughs> Cut up a little bit. Scores 4,500 to 2,500. Ronnie, your spin. All right, come on, Joe. That's perfect. You're booked. And anything goes. Okay, I'm going to go with past, present, and future for 500. Okay. Get this question correct. Bring it up to 3,000. However, if you miss it, Eric has a chance to steal it. If he gets it, it gives him $5,000 in proper turn, enough to win the game. All right, here comes your question on the past, present, and future. All right, Ronnie, as of 2015, what is the world's most populous country? For $500, name it. It's China. China is correct. Very good. Over a billion people there. Yes. Talk about <laughs> overcrowding, <laughs> to say the least. 4500 to 3000 Eric, your spin. All right. Bingo. Joker. And we're booked. Let's see. Off the board with the one joker for uh, fun and games, please, for 500 All right. Again, this question correct gives you $5,000, enough to win the game. However, we're going to get one more spin. All right. Here comes your question under fun and games. Eric, the object of what board game is to identify through sketch clues as many words necessary to advance to the finish square? For $500 and possibly the game, name it. I believe it's called Pictionary. Pictionary is correct. Very good. You have five thousand dollars now, which can be enough to win the game. However, Rodney gets that final spin. Rodney, you need a natural triple or three jokers to have a chance to w stay in this game. Anything less, Eric becomes the new interim champion. All right, here we go. I need three jokers or a triple. Come on, a Joker, Joker. Pop culture. Oh. You got the triple. You gotta go it. with it. All right. Gotta go with it. Pop culture for two thousand. All right. That's right. You can do it. Get this question correct, Rodney, gives you five thousand dollars and will be in a sudden death sort of format. However, miss it. Eric becomes the champion. Here it is. All right, Rodney, what Disney animated feature was the first one of its kind to be nominated for an Oscar for Best Picture? Again, what Disney animated feature was the first of its kind to be nominated for, for an Oscar for Best Picture? $2,000 and a tie game. Name it. You probably going to win this game, Eric. Let me see. First animated film. Yes, what was the first Disney animated feature to be nominated for Oscar for Best Picture? I'm throwing a wild, really wild guess out there. Shoot. Is it Fantasia? That's a good guess, but I'm sorry, that's wrong. The correct answer there actually was Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast wow. was what we were looking for. And with that, we just spin the real Eric and Eric, you are the champion. Congratulations. Good job, Eric. Thank you, Roger. I was thinking Fantasia as well, Roger. Don't feel bad. Yeah. Well, it was a good one. But yeah, Beauty and the Beast was initially it. All right, so Eric, you're the new interim champion. You've got yourself $5,000, and you're going to be going on to face the devil again in just a minute. Ronnie, thank you for... Join us once again. We're going to give you another chance here to get back on the leaderboard sometime very soon. We got a thousand dollars for you, and our thanks for playing. All right.
Thank you, uh, um, Brandon. You are quite welcome. All right, folks, we got a new interim champion. It's Mr. Eric Lima. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to see if he can earn some more cash and prizes as he goes to face the devil in our bonus game. We'll do that right after this. Stay tuned. And welcome back here to the Joker's Wild. Eric Lima, our new interim champion, has won himself $5,000. Yes, I was going to take a shot to see if he can face the devil. Come on over. Eric, welcome back to Bonus Island. You're very familiar with this part of the game. Here's your chance to earn yourself some more cash and prizes here. But in order to do that, you've got to spin and see what prizes you're going to be playing for first. All right? So when you're yep. ready, give that bonus board a spin. Let's see what you're playing for. All right, here we go. Let's get some prizes. Oh, oh. 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 Joker, Joker that a sleep set, and a trip to St. Lucia. Nice prize package so far, up to almost twenty-five thousand in value. You've earned your bonus spin. Give it another one. Okay. Here we go. And a nice prize to add to that as well: a trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico, a spa, and an oak bar set, making your total prize package in this bonus game thirty-seven thousand three hundred seventeen dollars in cash. And prizes can all be yours, but only. You can face the devil. It's the first time I missed out on a car. That does happen from time to time. It does. All right, here comes your chance to here comes your chance to get in the game here, Eric, and win that prize package. Here's all you got to do is get to ten thousand dollars on the reels now before you see the devil's face appear. If you can do that, you're gonna win yourself that. You can win yourself that jack uh, that prize package of almost forty thousand dollars, and add it to your winnings as well. For every joker that you spin on the reels during the bonus game as well, you're going to give yourself ten. Uh, sorry, one thousand dollars. Why did I say ten thousand? <laughs> one thousand dollars in cash guaranteed, no matter what happens. But if you spend three jokers on any of your spin or any of your yeah on any of your spins, you win the joker's jackpot, which currently sits at forty thousand dollars. You could do it on your first two, one of your first two spins. We're gonna double it to eighty thousand dollars for you, and you'll have, and you will walk away here with almost a hundred grand in prizes. All right. All so right. If, and of course, if you have a fear of the devil, you can stop and take the money you earn at any time. All right. So if you're ready, yeah. here, best of luck to you. Let's Thank face you. the devil. Good luck to you. Money and Joker. <laughs> We need three jokers here for eighty thousand dollars. All right, money and jokers. Two fifty, one thousand, one thousand. Grand. Money and jokers. Five hundred, two thousand, two thousand. We're almost there. Ninety-five dollars. This spin can do it. Let the devil move it around. What do you do? Gotta go all the way. All right, it's only five hundred dollars to win the prize package. All right, no devil in his last spin. Jokers and money. Let's go. Congratulations to you, Eric. $11,500 in cash money. We're going to add in that prize package that you won there, giving you a bonus for a total of $48,817. Nicely done, sir. We're going to add in your free upfront wings. Gives you a one-game cash of prizes now totaling $53,817. Well played. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Sir. Well, Doug, congratulations to you. Nobody won the, you didn't win the Joker's jackpot that time, so we're going to add another $5,000 to that for the next bonus round. We supply is going to have a shot to win $45,000 or $90,000 if they could do it on one of their first two spins. 
And with that, we're going to take a quick commercial break, give Eric a chance to enjoy his prizes and count the money he's won. I'm fighting another opponent. We'll do that and play the second game of the Joker's Wow right after this. Stay tuned. And here we are. Welcome back to another episode of the Joker's Wild here, where we got our new interim champion, Eric, who's got himself $53,817 cash of prizes. And he's ready to take on our next opponent. So let's meet him now. Our next opponent here on the Joker's Wild, Justin Miller. Welcome back, Justin. Thank you. If you missed the last time Justin was on, on our special Memorial Day episode, we had a best two out of three falls match between these two. Eric won the, uh, actually Justin won the, that game, walked away with over $200,000, became the new champion at the time, but now he's ready to back, come back and see if he can claim the interim crown for himself. Are you ready? Yay! Well, best of luck to you. Let's get right to it and take a look at our categories for this game of the Joker's Wild. And they are the following. Music. Would you rather? One Places. Athletic Figures. Heat and Cheek. And finally, Anything Goes. All right, those are your categories on the board. We are going to unlock the reels for our players. And as always, the challenger starts. Justin, that's you. Give it a spin. All right, here we go. There we go. Yeah, try to get it. Hey, good traveler, music, and geek chic. Would you rather for 500? Would you rather? Okay. All right, start with the would you rather category. Again, we asked we ask 100 people. Would you rather randomly lose one of your senses or randomly lose a family member? What answer do you think more people would give? Right, you get 500 bucks. I would rather lose one of my senses than a family member. So you're going to go with senses? Yep. All right. With a with a 73 to 27 choice, more people would rather randomly lose one of their senses. You're right. $500. Yeah. Here we go. He's on the board first. 500 Eric, it is now your spin. All right. Some jokes. Anything goes. Another and a pair. Let's try anything goes for $1,000. All right. Anything goes for $1,000. Here comes your anything goes question. All right, Eric, in the French tricolor flag, what color is in the middle? White. White is correct. You got a thousand dollars. All right, scores a thousand to five hundred. Justin, your spin. All right, here we go. Joker, it goes, and a triple. Two thousand. Anything goes. Anything goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin. What Canadian city features the iconic CN Tower? For two thousand dollars, name it. Toronto. Ontario, Canada is correct. Very good. Two thousand dollars. But the I'm people saying, can. I'm say, if, they, if you miss that, Justin, they're going to have to deport you. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> New America, we'll take you. All right, twenty five hundred a thousand. Eric, your spin. <laughs> Joker, Joker, anything goes. Oh, let's try oh. anything for two thousand. All right, let's put you three thousand dollars. You get it right. All right, Eric, what imaginary line passes through Greenwich, England? Good lord. Nope. Uh, Greenwich, England. I don't know. No guess. All right, Justin, you can pick up two thousand dollars here if you know it. Oh, I don't know what I've got to say. The equator. Good guess, but not the line we're looking for. The imaginary line is actually the opposite one of that. It's the prime meridian. Prime meridian is the one that runs through Greenwich. Oh, really? Oh. Really? All okay. right. So score still twenty five hundred to a thousand. Okay. Justin, your spin. Joker, Joker, 
Anything goes! Oh. <laughs> Jeez, that's the same for that guy. <laughs> What's your choice? Sorry again. Everything goes 2000 All right, for $2,000. What animal did the 2015 Chinese New Year fall under? What animal from the Chinese calendar did the 2015 year fall under? For $2,000, name the animal. Dog? No, it was not a dog. Eric, you can pick up 2000 here if you know it. Mm, the dragon? No, it was not the year of the dragon. The oh. correct answer was either the goat or sheep, depending on which version of the calendar you use. A goat oh. or sheep is what we were looking for there. So, oh, I see. So no money there? Scores 2500 to 1000 still. Eric, your spin. All right. What you rather? And people in places. Ooh, two of my favorite categories are up there. Let's try people and places for a 500, please. All right, going with people and places for 500. Here comes your people and places question. All right, Eric, what classic film star statue stands in Leisure Square in London, England? For $500, name him. Hmm. James Bond? No, I'm sorry. It's not James Bond. Justin, you can pick up 500 if you know it. You would pick question, please? Yeah, what classic film star statue stands at Leicester Square in London, England? Rocky? Rocky, I'm sorry. Correct answer we're <laughs> looking for there is actually Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin, so, huh? mm -hmm. All right, so no money there. Scores 2500 or 1000 Justin, your spin. Joker! 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 Well, 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 here we are once again. Three Jokers for Justin. That means he can now pick a choose a category of his choosing. If he gets it right, it automatically bumps his score up to $5,000, and he wins the game automatically. Misses it, and we continue on. Once again, Justin, here are your categories for this game. We had music, athletic feats, people and places, geek chic, would you rather, and anything goes. Would you rather? Would you rather question. Okay. No dual implication on this one. So simply, you get this one right, Justin. You win the game. All right. We asked. All right, we asked 100 people. Would you rather listen to everything but your favorite musician and artist, or listen to only your favorite musician and artist? I would rather listen to any, uh, my favorite musician and artist. To only your favorite musician and artist? Yes. With this, we surveyed 100 people, and 58 out of the 100 said they would rather listen to only their favorite musician and artist. You yes! are right. You win the game. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again. Congratulations, Justin. Three Jokers finally comes through for him. It's been a long time coming. You've won the game. You've got yourself $5,000. And you're going on to face the devil in just a moment. Well, Eric, unfortunately, this run fell a little short for you. But you're not leaving here empty-handed. You've got yourself $53,817 in cash and prizes, and you're still sitting top of the leaderboard right now. I'm, I'm very happy about that. I beat the devil, so I can walk away happy. There you go. Congratulations. We'll have you back on another episode real soon. All right. You Justin's our new interim champion. We'll see if he can add to his wings by facing the devil. We'll do that right after this here on the Joker's Wild. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild here. Justin, our new champion, $5,000 in cash. And I will your chance to see the face of death. Come on over, Justin. Oh, All right, welcome to the
to the bonus round, Justin. You know how this works. Give you a chance to earn yourself some more cash or prizes here. But in order to do that, we got to see what you're playing. Playing for. So when you're ready, give those reels a spin. A nice prize package. A 14-foot, 6-inch day sailor. Along with a trip to Honolulu, Hawaii. And $10,000 in cash. Makes your prize package so far $20,661. You've earned yourself a bonus spin. All right, come on. Nice. Two more jokers for $20,000 in cash, nice. plus a bedroom group that sleeps set worth over $7,000. Makes your prize package now $47,691, and you've earned a brand new car. Three reels up there. Which one would you like to play for? What? Number one. Behind one, we have... The Pontiac G6 for $21,854, making your prize package total $69,545 in cash and prizes can all be yours, but only if you can face the devil. All right, we've had one winner so far on this game episode of The Joker's Wild. Let's see if we can get a second one here. I'll just tell you that your Joker's jackpot is worth $45,000. Spin Joker, 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 Joker on one of your first two spins. We'll double it to $90,000, all right? So best of luck right. to you. Let's get to it and spin those reels. Let's get another winner here. Oh, my Jokers! $11,000 in cash. We're going to add in that prize package of over $69,000. Plus, you can spun three jokers throughout the game, so I'll give you a bonus $3,000 in cash. Plus, your up prizes gives you a one-game cash prize totaling $88,545. Congratulations. Neat. That's all you got to say is neat? That's awesome. I would say you just won almost a hundred thousand dollars in one go, sir. Oh, I stole me the money. <laughs> yeah, that man, that get me excited. I know that for sure. Well, congratulations. That money is yours, and you're gonna have a chance to see if you can hold on to your inner ground because we're we're that game went pretty short, so we have time for our third and final game. So we're gonna take another commercial break. We'll be back with more George Wild right after this. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> Welcome back to more Jokers Wild here. Our second interim champion of this episode, Justin, now has won $88,545 in his first game as interim champ. We're going to see if he can hold on to his crown oh, yeah. as he takes on this next opponent. Our right, next player here on the Jokers Wild, AJ Richard. Hi, Brandon. Hi, AJ. Welcome back to the show. Thanks, Brandon. It's been, it's been a good minute since you've been on. I don't think we've seen you since episode 23, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been about four games or so. Mm-hmm. Are you ready to see if you can take that interim crown for yourself? Sure am. All right, well, best of luck to you. All right, players, good luck to you. And let's get started with this game of the Joker's Wild, our final one for this episode. 
Here's the categories you're going to be playing with, and they are the following. We have True or False, Entertainment, Food and Drink, Movies, Science, and finally, Revenge with Athletic Feats. All right, let's unlock the reels for our players. We have Justin and we have AJ. All right, and as always, the challenger starts. AJ, when you're ready, give it a spin. A spin. Movies, true or false, and food and drink. True or false for 500, please. All right, again, true or false category. I will read you a statement. All you have to do is tell me if the right answer is true or false. If that statement is true or false, you get it right, you get the money. However, if you miss it, your opponent gets the money, okay? So, under true or false, here's your statement, AJ. All the right. Man, the manufacturer of high-end domestic appliances, Malay, is Italian. Again, the manufacturer of high-end domestic appliances, Malay, that's spelled M-I-E-L-E. -E. See, the Malay or, ma or Miel, depending on how you look at the pronunciation. Uh, the company is Italian-based. Is that true or false? False. That is correct. They're actually German. Very good. You got 500. Oh, yeah. All right. We're off to a swing. 500 to nothing. Justin, you're spinning. All right. Movies. Joker. And true or false? I'll try movies for a grand. Oh, movies for $1,000. Here comes your movies question. All right, Justin, what, which musical comedy had the tagline of they'll never get caught, they're on a mission from God? For $1,000, name the movie. Mission Impossible? No, oh. I'm sorry, it's not Mission Impossible. AJ, if you didn't know it, you could take $1,000. Monty Python, The Quest for Holy Grail? Oh, no! Another no. good answer, but not what we're looking for there. Eric, do you know it, sir? Brothers. What was that? Blues Brothers. Yes, it was the Blues Brothers. Ah. Uh, that was the that. That's a classic. You should go find it and watch it. Highly recommend it. The original one from the original one from the eighties, though. The Blues Brothers two thousand yeah, was okay, but the original one was fantastic. Yeah, that was that, that one was the best. All right, score is still five hundred to nothing, and AJ, you're spent. Let's spin. Science, athletic feats, and entertainment. Athletic feats for 500. Athletic feats for 500. Here comes your athletic feats question. All right, AJ. Who, what athlete did Carmen Electra marry in a little chapel of of the flowers in Las Vegas in 1998. Again, oh. what what athlete did Carmen Electra marry at the Little Chapel of Flowers in Las Vegas in 1998? For $500, name him. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman is correct. Very good. Hey, Carmen Electra let his feet. Oh, All right, scores 1,000 to nothing. Eight. And Justin, you're spinning. Okay. Oh, yeah. Athletic yeah. feet, entertainment, and a pair. Entertainment for a thousand dollars. Here comes your entertainment question. All right, under entertainment, Justin, what was the name of Spider Man's love interest? For a thousand dollars, name her. Oh. I haven't seen movies in a long time, so I don't know. No guess? No guess. All right, AJ, you can pick up another thousand if you know it. Mary Jane Watson. That is correct. You got a thousand for oh. you. All right, mm. it's up to two thousand dollars. And score right. two thousand nothing, you're spent. Let's spin. Science, athletic feats, and a pair. Athletic feats for a thousand. 
All right, for another thousand dollars under athletic feats, here is your question. AJ, who was the first ever sophomore to win the Heisman Trophy? For a thousand dollars, name it. First, uh, the first ever sophomore. Yes. The only thing coming to my mind is Jameis Winston. No, I'm sorry. It was not Jameis Winston. That's a good guess. He did win it, but he was not the first. Justin, you could pick up $1,000 if you know it. LeBron James? No. We're, what? The Heisman Trophy is in college football. The athlete we're looking for, Mr. Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. Oh. One oh. And Tebow time. All right, scores 2000 enough, nothing. And Justin, you need to get in this game. Let's spin it. True or false, Joker and athletic feats. Athletic feats for a friend. Going back to athletic feats, here comes your question. All right, what what NBA Hall of Famer has won most NBA championships? Again, what NBA player Hall of Famer has won the most NBA championships. For $1,000, name it. Michael Jordan? No, I'm sorry. It's not Michael Jordan. It's a reasonable guess, but he, there's someone who's won more. AJ, do you know it for 1000 Is it Bill Russell? Bill Russell is correct. You get it. I believe he won 11 in his time with the Boston Celtics, if I'm not mistaken. So, yes, it uh, gives you $3,000 on a commanding lead. AJ, you can win it on this spin, possibly. Let's spin. Science, and a pair. Athletic feats for 1000 Going on the sports categories on this one. All right. Okay, AJ, under athletic feats. What NFL team beat the Kansas City Chiefs in the long Longest NFL game ever. Again, what NFL team beat the Kansas City Chiefs in the longest game ever? Is it A, the New England Patriots, B, the New York Jets, C, the Miami Dolphins, or D, the Buffalo Bills? New York Jets. I'm sorry, it was not the Jets. Justin D, pick up a thousand if you know it. Miami Dolphins. It was the Dolphins. Very good. You got it for a thousand. Hey guys, but you didn't get that one because you're from. All right, scores three thousand to one thousand. Justin's on the board, and it's your spin. Joker, Joker, athletic feat. Oh! Back to the feats, two thousand. All right, get this right. It ties up the game at three thousand. However, miss it, and AJ gets it. Gives him $5,000, enough to win the game. All right? So here right. comes your question. Um, former NFL quarterback Johnny Manziel played football for what college? For $2,000 in a tie game, name it. Miami State? No, I'm sorry. It was not Miami State. AJ? Give me the right answer. You win the game. Texas A&M. Texas A&M is correct. You are the New England champion. Well done. Congratulations to you. AJ, you won $5,000. You're now the interim champion. Wow. Three interim champions in one episode right there. Very good to you. Congratulations. And you're going to be going on to face the devil here in just a moment. Uh, Justin, did you enjoy yourself, sir? Oh, yeah. What? You don't feel bad? You're not leaving her empty-handed. You're taking home with you $88,545 in cash and prizes. And we'll definitely have you back for another episode. All right? All right. All right, folks, we're going to take one last commercial break. When we come back, AJ's going to take a shot and see if he can win some more prizes and cash as he faces the devil in our bonus round. All right, guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild. We're here with our new interim champion, AJ. That's what, $5,000, and now he's going to have a shot Morning more as he faces the devil. Come on over, AJ. Right, AJ, 
AJ. Here's your chance to take on some great cash prizes and possibly a brand new car here. We've got the prize board already set up. When you're ready, sir, give it a spin. Let's see what you're playing for. A spin. Joker took the Mazadlan, and another Joker gives you a prize package so far $23,750. And you've earned yourself a bonus spin. A spin. Joker, 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 he's got it. $50,000 in cash for spinning three Jokers. Brings your prize package up to $73,750 with a chance to play for a brand new car. Three reels up on the board. Which car would you like to play for? Number two, please. Behind number two, we have the Chevy Cobalt worth $16,110, making your total prize package worth $89,860 in cash and prizes. All can be yours, but only if you face the door. All right. AJ, your chance here now to take home that almost seventy thousand dollars plus in cash up here along with the joker's jackpot remember spend three jokers on any of your spins we're going to give you the joker's jackpot of fifty thousand dollars do it on one of your first two spins we double it to one hundred thousand dollars and a shot and uh i want to say a shot a new car you'll win the brand new car at that point <laughs> All right, and remember, any jokers you spin are going to give you $1,000 in guaranteed money, and if you have a fear of the devil, you can stop and take the money you've won at any time, all right? We've had two winners today. Let's make it three for three in a perfect episode. When you're ready, sir, good luck to you. Let's spin. Let's spin. Here we go. 2000 All the windows that a natural triple win on the first spin. Three, three windows of the same level. Get five thousand on this spin. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand. Wow, ninety five hundred dollars. You're almost there. One more spin will do it. Adrian. Avoid the devil on this one. You're taking it on the home. That's all right, he's going for it. Good luck. Here it is. Two fifty. Five hundred. One thousand. We got another winner. Perfect show three for three on this one. Three big winners in the bonus round. Let's do some math here for AJ. He got himself eleven thousand two hundred fifty dollars all in cash. We're gonna add in that prize package. We're also gonna add in the Joker's bonus, which unfortunately you didn't get in Joker's. You've done that in three spins, which is very impressive. Add in your five thousand dollars from the upfront game, AJ. In one game, the Joker's wad. You've won. A hundred and six thousand one hundred and ten dollars. Congratulations. Yay. Yes. And the most important part is you are now the interim champion and you will come back on our next episode and defend that crown. Okay. Oh. So Junior, how how things are going with the uh, the Joker's wheels uh, today? I think Daddy. Lucy Gifford tried to uh, invade the sale of the century set the other day. So, so Daddy, Daddy, I have to explain something to you, Daddy. <laughs> oh, we, no. we, we lost the quarter of a That's million dollars. Do <laughs> you? The money Do you? <laughs> and that's what all the Junior, I want you to get the get your suitcase and get the hell out of my house. <laughs> now oh. every time I walk away. I needless to say, folks, I think Luc Lucifer, aka Lucy, is a little upset today that we managed to um, we managed to give away almost two hundred fifty thousand dollars in cash and prizes on the show today three winners in the bonus round and no sight of lucy at all until right now i'm uh, telling you uh, he's getting shit packed right now y'all uh, <laughs> every time i leave every time i leave the show got what in my, my own business you you let them win 
<laughs> well, it's not his responsibility to be watching the reels. That's your job, Lucy. That's why you're getting for it. I trained him, though. Well, Apparently, you just not him. You need to train him better. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Actually, you know what? I take that back. You've actually done a very good job with them. I, I say keep up the fine work. <laughs> Wait a minute. What that supposed to mean? It means exactly what I say. You're doing a fine job. You just let me work it from now on. You can take a vacation. That's cool with us. We we like to see our players <sighs> take care of the joke as well, personally. But that's me. Of course. Okay, here's the problem. I can't hear Rodney, and yet he's still lighting up. We got well, some can you hear me now? We'll, we'll, we'll work it out after the show here. We'll make sure it's all working out. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I, can, I can hear you, and I can hear the rest of the crew. But... Yeah. yeah I, it's all I can hear you. We'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up, and we'll fix it here in a minute, guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much out there for watching YouTube Land, another Farfield episode of The Joker's Wild. If you like this episode, make sure you click that like button. Click down there. Now. And don't forget to... Sh Hit share and share this with all your friends who like the George Wad as well. And remember, if you like, want to see more classic game shows, because we've got some more new ones on the way here on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss a video I drop here at MPG Productions. And until the... And so we get Lucy some proper parenting classes and <laughs> try to give away some more money here at the Joker's Wild. I'm your host, Brandon Scott, saying thanks for watching this episode. We will see you all next time. Bye for now, folks. Come on, Lucy. Don't hurt him too bad. I mean... This is Michael Gentry speaking for The Joker's Wild, an MVG production in association with the YouTube Games and Entertainment team. Don't forget to subscribe to the Democratic Network for great more content like this one.